da, 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 da. It's the final incentive chat. And you know what? Oh my golly, this week you guys are gonna love because the cow is to simply say bye bye, hasta la vista, ciao for now, brown cow, on the page because we're gonna give a little uh, post and show you some pre and post stats, which will be kind of fun. And if you have other ones, uh, we wanna see them. Are you catching what we're throwing? Because Ken and I did our little bit of pre and post, Gaga, and I uh, just kinda of wanna give you an idea of how to go. So with that note, this is the final of this incentive, but just know we do this every incentive. So if there's a spring summer incentive, then we're gonna have a whole new group, a whole new qualifying, etc. But because we have all these units on the let's go group and we have all these great chippy chabbies, we're gonna keep the units, but all of us are dropping off. So all of you in the net after this week, all of us are going to be dropped from the let's go group. And the way to get back into the let's go group is for you to qualify and get back into the next incentive group because it's always called let's go. So you have this week if there's things that you want to snag from the units or if there's things that you make sure you want to get. But just know we're going to have another incentive group and you may as well be, I mean, you already know what to do. So make sure you're a part of it and then we'll get you back on into the next uh, round or the next incentive group, which is the same Facebook page. And then hopefully you'll have more team members. Any questions about that? Okay. Well, let's get right to the butt of big butt of boom. We would love for every single one of you on here, whether you type it in the chat or you give us a shout out, just real, real raw and quick. What is one thing that you feel you are a better person today because of this group for? What's one takeaway or one aha? What's one benefit you gained from the group? And if you um, honestly have nothing that you learned or gained from the group, what's something that you wish you would have gained or learned from the group? Because we only want to get better. I mean, we're all human. Okay, let's hear from you. I'm better at following up with my customers and um, doing more things with them and getting more orders. So my PRV has grown since I've started. I'm just going to work on my team. Oh, yay. Do you think you would have had that mentality before the incentive group? I wanted to, but I was a bit, but now I'm, I'm into my business. Like I work my business every day now. Ah, consistent. Consistent, yeah, I'm consistent, yeah. Cool, okay, love. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> How come you don't want to talk, Mary? Are you at work? Oh, yes, you might. She says, <laughs> different perspectives and different ways of offering parties has had more than any. Oh, because of that, you earn level two of the incentive. Did you guys all catch that? So Mary typed it in. She loves the different perspectives that she gained from all the different people, I'm assuming, and all the different ways that we can do parties now because we don't have the excuse of no more home parties, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, well, we don't have home parties, but we don't have the excuses. Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not able to grow my business because I can't do home parties because I don't like them or I don't know how to do them, so I'm not going to be able to do them. Well, nobody does. Nobody gets to do those parties. Nobody gets to, even though I love them. Mm -hmm. And woo, woo, earn level two incentive. Awesome. Woo. Trina, I'm just going to start calling on you guys. That's so much easier. Trina, did you hear the question? Yes, I did. Cool. What are your thoughts? Well, um, I didn't earn the incentive, and that's okay because I just joined Sensu not too long ago. And I learned a lot from this group, and it is keeping me going, and it's going to help me in the long run. Give an example so, when you say you've learned a lot. Get, get, what what comes to your mind when you hear that? When you say that, rather. One thing is that just because <clears throat> I'm struggling finding team members, but 
watching and seeing other people on here and in Teen Talk, I'm not alone. And this group has just given me more ideas of things to do and how to approach people differently and that every no is that much closer to a yes. Oh, I love that. It's so true, huh? And we all need to be reminded of that. Heather, sure. nice. I love it. Thank you for sharing. So, um, I did not reach the incentive, but that's okay. It's my, I, this is my first time doing Sensi. I am 600 points away. <clears throat> 600 points away. So now I know that I need to, I'm really good about my sales. I just need to work on my sponsoring. And that's very scary for me because I don't like to push people and I'm not pushing anybody, but so I need to learn on how to sponsor better to make my team grow. Um, one of my ladies just hit lead, so I'm working on it, okay. but I was fast enough. And you're aware of that. That's huge. Yeah. So that's what I got out of it. <laughs> okay, fun. Michelle. Okay. Yes, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, you want us to come back to you? Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Bonnie. <laughs> All right. I felt more motivated because we met every week and I could even virtually feel the energy that this group um, had. And so I really, out of the shoot, tried my hardest to recruit and, or sponsor people and stay with them and really, really work with them and get them to lead. And I think I had three, two, three people that um, got to lead, which means they grew their team. And I'm telling you, uh, the biggest tip I can give all of you is front load as much as you can. The first month, the first month and a half, get to sponsoring like crazy. Most of us have control of what we do as far as some type of party goes. Um, we don't always have control of the person that we sponsor, but if we give them more time, uh, then they're more likely to hit that thousand. So um, that's my biggest takeaway and, and a tip. Yay. And you hit level two, which is awesome. Holy crap, fantastic. First time ever. So thank you, everybody, for all your motivation. And how long have you been with Sensi? A uh, hundred years. <laughs> I joined in 09. So and, and you never quit. 11 years. First time ever. Years, and this is the first time of earning level two of the, I mean, that you get, that's so, that's so delicious. Because it just goes to show, I mean, everyone has a different path and a different journey. And the key is don't quit. We got to keep persevering until we figure it out on our own pace. And you did. You kept showing up even when you didn't want to. I love that. How about now, Michelle? It was yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's um, good. You know, I didn't hit, I didn't hit any level. Um, and just like everyone else, that's okay. <laughs> because um, I truly did gain a, a new, fresh perspective of what my business really should look like. Um, the tips and the tricks and the ideas that were given in this group, um, the consistency being on every week, having something to work on each week, um, kind of put me in a, a habit now of every week trying to focus on something different. And because I noticed that when I focus on that one thing for that whole week, I accomplished so much more and got more done as far as my own PRV um, or my team than when I was trying to do a little bit of everything every day. Wow. And um, I just have too much going on in my family life and business life to focus on too many things all at one time. So it really helped me change my perspective and shifted my my um, tasks as far as what I need to do every day or every week. Um, it was definitely a challenge. There were a lot of things um, I had to confront about myself. I don't like to, um, I don't like to do anything halfway. So it really actually was very pridefully hurting <laughs> that I didn't even earn level one. I was only halfway there. Um, but I had to stop and write down the things that I really did accomplish. And, um, the biggest thing is that I am 
good enough to lead my team. I just was too afraid to admit it because I don't have all the answers and, um, and that's okay. So yeah. it, it was great. I mean, I, I really did have, um, a great six months and I, I can't, I honestly cannot complain. I've gained new customers that I never would have had, had it not been for some of the challenges and the pushing, just try it, just try it once step out. Um, and so I, I love this. And now I know that I'm that much closer to earning the next incentive, wherever it is, whatever it is. Um, I, I now have a better idea of really what has to happen. You kind of have this thing in your head where you're like, I want that, but you have no idea how to get there. And I've been in many of these groups over the years. This is my ninth year, nine and a half years. Um, but it's always been like a fairy tale, never quite achievable or attainable until this year. Just really now it's like, oh, now I get it. It's really, it was taken into bite-sized pieces. So if I keep going, I think I know I will get love. Yeah. I, will, I will earn my next incentive. Well, and it's not if you keep going. Now you're armed. You're empowered. that You will keep going without yeah. a doubt. And it's been fun to see your growth. Personally, well, it's been interesting to learn how to run a business amidst uh, turmoil and issues. So it can be done. And you did it and you're, and you're here. It didn't kill you. It's made you so much stronger. So yeah, for sure. The sky is the limit and we have no doubt. It'd be fun to see you even six months ago in a video or a chit chat or any of it compared to where you are now. Oh my golly. In fact, you can, because they're all recorded. You should go do that just to get an idea. Honestly, can you, can you not feel it? Because you, I mean, we can see it. And especially in our, when we're looking at ourselves to know what journey we just completed to be where and who we are right now. Oh, I challenge you to go do that because I see it and feel it in you. And that's what's so lovely. So thank you for sharing. Christine, and you heard the question too, right? If you didn't hear the question, we'll repeat it. Just ask. I didn't hear the question. Sorry, I was late. Oh, good. No worries. The question is, um, what would you say was your biggest takeaway from being in this incentive group? What was your biggest either aha or the biggest benefit? Um, what did you learn? Gosh, I think there's so much. Um, I'm one to like listen, but never follow through and do the little projects. So doing the things that I would never do, like the dream board or putting the dollar on the board every time I got a party. I started doing those things and I think it made a big difference. I kind of looked forward to the Zooms every week. I looked forward to the cow to give me something like different to look at and a different goal to have every week. So, and it was just continuous growth. Um, my team has grown huge. Um, I earned the incentive, which was amazing. Um, just everything. And I feel like um, just things that I see as silly, like I do a bingo once a month, you know, on the first of the month and this week I did it and I'm sick and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to do it. But I'm like, I'll just throw it out there and see if people want to come. And my goodness, I had tons of people on there. We had a great time. And I was like, this has turned into more than just a hobby of selling Sensi. Like this is pretty cool, you know, that there's a lot to it. So, and the potential is just enormous. And just the growth I've had during this time of this group and this incentive is huge. So the thought of if I keep at it and keep going and keep learning and reaching for new growth and new information, it's the sky's the limit. Oh, that's so fun. Are you feeling better? You sound better. No, I'm horrible, but thank you. I've been in bed all day. I got out of bed to come see you guys. <laughs> You know, you sound a lot better. You sound more energetic. So I don't know. Because I slept all day. What? No, I'm, um, I'm quarantined with COVID, unfortunately. Oh, really but you're here. What the heck? I love technology when it works. Well, yeah. we're grateful for you. So thank you for sharing because, again, it, it's fun to see your numbers. And you guys, we challenge all of you to go back and on your reports when you're pulling your report if you're not sure ask your sponsor or director or both on how to look back six months ago and see where you were look at everything look at your TWB look at your GWB look at your group size your, your team size and then 
compare it to each month. Where, where were your hyper growth months? Where were the months that were like this? And then go back and reflect what made it so great? What made it plateau? What, you know, what were all the, the contributing factors? Where, where, where do you remember you were, right? Were you sick? What happened in your life? What was going on? The good and the bad. Those are all super fun things to look at no matter whether you call yourself a numbers person or not, because it's right there in front of you. You don't even have to do the map. You just go look at the chart. So please go do that. Okay. Um, Yvonne, how about you? Well, um, I think one of the main things that I learned from this group was just how important sharing is. Um, starting with our Saturday pre-planning meetings to the Sunday here, just sharing information with everybody. And I, I love doing it and I love hearing other people's ideas. We can't do it all by ourselves. So um, just, and the very kicker is we gotta share with our teams. You have to share with your teams to get that TWV, right? PRV is not all it's cracked up to be. You gotta get that TWV too, so sharing. And then um, as far as the incentive or the last six months, I've really learned that Facebook parties for me have been so important and I'm just going to continue rocking those out because it's so much easier to flip a new team member rather than trying to find one. It's hard to find somebody by saying, do you want to make some money on Sensi? But it's really easy to flip somebody if they're having a Facebook party for you. So, um, And I found too that um, when you do that, um, not only are you getting your sales, but you're training your people, you're setting them up for success with future bookings. It just is a really cool thing. And then the last thing is to don't give up because I, I did earn level two, but um, like December 1st, I didn't know if I was going to, like I still needed some sponsoring points, but um, all those things that I had been working on and everything finally came to fruition in December. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am gonna do it. So don't give up. <laughs> yeah, but it's so true. And I, I love why, I mean, look what happened. You even popped a superstar director during all that, not because of the group, but during all of this time because of your tenacity and, and learning new things because of all the things that we've all shared. It doesn't matter how long we've been doing it, right? It's so, ah, it's so powerful just to keep learning new things. So it's fun to hear uh, that uh, an old dog can learn new tricks, right? <laughs> Okay, good. Thank you for sharing. Charlotte, how about you? Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hello. This is actually the first time I've ever been in this meeting. Isn't it great? So uh, tell us, uh, did you look, did you catch any of the recordings or even any of the posts or any of that? The posts I did and the posts were helpful. Um, I actually, so I joined Sensi in the last week of August. Um, so I'm like just new to Sensi and I actually did get the first incentive level. Yeah, you're killing it. Yeah, trying. Um, actually, actually, I've only been here since August and actually I've already earned the first incentive and I earned level three sensational star and I did shooting star and uh, I mean, what? I mean, you can, yeah, you can do it for me. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, what I love hearing you say, though, is you read some of the posts and they were helpful. So how? Yeah. What does um, that mean? I think just having, there are so many other people who have ideas that you don't have. And I think that just one of the big resources, I mean, I even created some resources like a Facebook, Instagram, or I'm sorry, a Facebook, um, like template that is in our Mary and Christine's group now that they're using. Um, but there, there's just so many images that other consultants have made that it's honestly so easy to find content. And I think that a lot of the barrier is that people think that there's a lot of work that they're just, there really isn't so much work. I, I couldn't, coming into Sensi, I, I was actually surprised at how easy it was to advertise. I mean, Sensi creates so much of the marketing for you, but even if you just look past that, you can find anything that you need on Google or in the groups that you are, you know, the groups that you're in. And so joining the Facebook groups was huge, but even just reading like ideas that people had for parties and um, some of your stuff, actually, some of your creative marketing techniques, it's like people have already put the thoughts out there so that even if the thought's not an original thought, it's not like you can't find a great way to market. So I thought that that was 
just a huge resource for me the entire time. Wow, good on you for being so new and resourceful because that is key in any business. There is no reason to start from scratch. And there's never an excuse for not knowing how to do something that we don't know because of all those things you just named. YouTube, oh my golly, that wasn't around when I started. So, yeah. that, so and, and a big kudos to your sponsor and it's fun with Mary and Christine and those collaborating groups because you know what you know because somehow they got you channeled into the right direction so for all of us to remember how important it is that we let our team members know we are not as their sponsor we are not their only person to go to we cannot possibly be their only resource and know all the answers and besides, like you said, Charlie, it's kind of nice to get other people's ideas because they have a whole different perspective. They're probably at a whole different point in their journey and their outlook is it's either going to be very, very similar to yours or it's going to be so different that we didn't look at it that way and go, oh my gosh, I love looking at something that way. So, so yay you for hitting this incentive already and mm -hmm. hooray because we know we'll see you in the next group with a team member or 10. That's true. Okay. Thank you for sharing. I love that. Uh, Tina, how about you? And you can, um, oh wait, maybe you've, ch maybe you've already chatted it up and I missed you. Oh, Mary, I have to hop off. Okay. <laughs> Mary, I met, oh, bless your heart. Thank you for sharing your nasal drip, Heather. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Maybe more melodious. Oh, front low. Okay, Mary was chiming in. Okay, so Tina, um, those of you who are not showing your bright, shiny faces, for us to call on you, then we expect you to chime in in the chat room. But well, hello, Tina. We're so glad we got to see you. Here, you're on mute. <laughs> better? <laughs> so much better. So, what are your takeaways? What you thought? Well, I like others. I didn't earn the incentive. I was close, but the sponsoring points is where I was lacking in some of it. Um, but for me, learning lots of different ways for Facebook parties, that was always a struggle. If somebody wanted to do a Facebook party, I tried to shy away because I wasn't sure what to do or how to do it. Mm. And now since this group started, that's all I've done. And my sales went way through the roof compared to years prior. Changed a lot for me. And it helped to book other parties because it wasn't every person had a new group of people. I live in a really small community, so sometimes that's hard if you're doing home parties to mm. get new people. Yeah. Whereas doing the Facebook party, I'm getting lots of new people and even people that don't live close to us that are asking to do Facebook parties also. So I guess my yeah. biggest takeaway was learning how to do the Facebook parties and also putting myself out there more. I have increased my customer base exponentially just because I put myself out there I stepped out of my comfort zone I offer the flip a kit to people and that's something I had never tried before either before I started in this group yay so yeah you tried to, and I love hearing you say that you've done more this year than you have in all your years past okay we, we cannot emphasize this enough how important it is that we don't quit that is the easiest thing to do especially when we run into adversity especially when we get disappointed because maybe we didn't earn a certain incentive or we didn't hit a goal that we set for ourselves the easiest thing to do when we're disappointed bye bye quit and that's what a lot of people do but you didn't quit tina no and, and i'm gonna earn the next one Yes. I'm going to earn the next one. Oh, this is recorded. We all heard it. You broadcasted <laughs> it. We're going to all help you. That's the beauty when you broadcast it within the stretchy pants group. We're all going to help you stretch those pants. And we're not talking about what one eats. It's all about getting out of our comfort zone. 
So yay, I love hearing that. And Coco and M are expecting to see you either pop in or chime in on the chat, Aru. And until then, oh, M, look at you. Okay, it was helpful. You got two parties. Oh, and you didn't earn the incentive, but you reached out a whole bunch and you had a couple of parties. A couple of maybes that turned into a no, and yeah, that was okay. And then, oh, you moved from South Carolina back to Nevada, so you slacked. <laughs> but that's the beauty right there, Em. This business doesn't go anywhere. It's not like we just lost a job because we decided to move or we had to wait to get a new job before we could move like Ken and I did. This job, this profession of direct sales network marketing is always there for us. And the more we put into it, the more we're going to get out of it. So I love that you said, and that's okay because you moved. Your biggest takeaway was the parties and you did a bunch of reach outs and you tried to uh, gift kits too. Oh, good. You tried it. That's huge. I was always a little bit scared until this group with all the ideas and helpful tips. Ooh, so then that means on the next group, we're going to see your bright, shiny face even more. And then you can do some of the fun shares. Yay. We heard it because you posted it in our words. You posted it. And one of your party, oh, what? 1,000. So I'm sorry my kids are crazy right now. I love that. I'm not going to get back into it. Okay, good. Okay, good. And we're, and we're here for you because we're never going to quit on you. None of us are. I'm going to quit on anybody. So I love hearing your share. Okay, how about, uh, Lori, how about you? Give us your two cents. You're on mute, but I can see you. Blah, you somebody. <laughs> Here, I can um, invite you uh, or unmute you. You see it? Nope, she's still muted. I know. I'm asking if she, if she could hear us. So can you, there, there, you did it. Can you hear me now? Yes. Good. Feel like the old Verizon commercial. <laughs> I, like many others, did not earn the incentive. And like everybody else, it's okay. It's the second incentive that I tried to earn that I didn't earn since I joined Sensi, if that makes sense, because I have earned other incentives. Um, it's been a crazy year. Yes, it has. Um, but um, PRV went up considerably. I have three new team members. What? But <laughs> here's the kicker. They're all rejoins. So oh. my sponsoring points didn't get boosted because they were rejoins. Were they all eight and above or star and above? No, they were actually, when they, when they rejoined, they were essential and they went certified. Two of them. One of them is still hey. essential. One is still essential and bless her heart. This girl was Sensi in 2012, just like me. Oh, wow. Well, and now you're going gonna, you're gonna to appreciate the beauty of a TWV when you've added more team members to your TWV. <laughs> so, you know, and I, in this group, and I have missed a few of the meetings because of family obligations, um, I did learn um, how to do other Facebook parties than what I normally do. I've done a couple of the bingo ones, which have been fun. And I did do one scavenger hunt one, which was really interesting. Um, and I've grown my customer base. And I've put some systems into place, which was part of my New Year's resolution. What would be one system? One of my systems is going to be working my business more like a business. Um, because I'm getting really close to retirement from my day job, yay, um, <laughs> is, is to book out, so block out something for every single day for a half an hour a day, and then once a week for on that day to do it for an hour, and then once a month to do something for two hours, so that it's all consistently every day, every week, every month, the same thing to do and keep things in order and in place because okay, 
Yes, and my, so. and my, my main goal is to get my Sensi office back in order. Okay, fun. And that'll help us be more, I know if you're like me, it helps you be more organized because then you yeah. can be more efficient and then we can keep our systems or create new systems, etc. And, I, right. and and Lori, those baby steps, well, you know, those baby steps, every single incentive, you get more and more knowledge and you grow more and more. And it's yep. just be a matter of time where it all just comes together and clicks as long as we stick with it and we're persevering. So that's what's so fun to see you grow. Yeah, I did try a couple of times on my parties to do the Erna kit. And I, and like you, Jeanette, I don't, I don't like to say earn a kit or flip a party or whatever. I like to say gift it to them. Um, and I got two no's and a maybe. So I'm waiting on the maybe. I'm waiting on the maybe. I'm waiting on the maybe. She's supposed to have a party in it, this month. It's January already in my gravy. Um, so she's supposed to have a party this month. And I'm hoping to gift her that party. Um, once we get it all set up but she wanted to wait till after the holidays and i understand that yeah and it's great to have that option right the earn a kit so good keep her keep her on the radar and just you always have that in your back pocket right so that's awesome thank you for sharing thank you uh randy what was that Lori? hi guys so wait just a second randy what'd you say Lori? i hope everybody had a good christmas and a nice new year's oh that's nice Randy, how about you? All right. So my biggest takeaway was just the group itself. You know, I am a super social person. I do a lot of events. I travel a lot. I want to go places. I want to do things. And staying home is really hard. So um, just, is it me or is it? I hear a lot of chatter. I get distracted. Um, so, sorry. Um, so, staying home is hard. And can you guys hear me or is it me? It is you. I just looked. I know. Like me there, making there. noise. I just okay. muted everybody but you. So, we'll see. It's okay. Just... I was like, um, is it because I'm in my car? So, I didn't know if it was like back echoing. Anyways, okay, so um, it's just, yeah, being a part of the group because, you know, it, it gave me something to look forward to, um, and I'm a teacher. I love sharing what I do and what's worked for me, um, and everyone in this group wanted it, so it was nice to be sharing with people that were actually, like, taking those ideas and doing those things. Um, and seeing all of you guys grow, it was just so, um, it was nice to have that social interaction, um, that we're not really getting in these times. Yes. Love the, yeah. uh, the accountability to have and having it, uh, having our leadership chats and then our Sunday night calls and all that, you know, what's fascinating too, is to hear how many of you, cause literally we're not, we're not looking for strokes here. We weren't looking for you just to give us compliments. It's really how we all learn. That's what we want to know. Did you take anything away from this? Literally, are you a better version of yourself in your business now than you were six months ago? And I know for a fact, those of you who showed up 80% of the time or more, because Ken and I did the statistics and we're going to be plopping them out at you this week. Those of you did grew more than we've ever seen you grow, whether you earn the incentive or not. And none of us asked you, hey, tell us how you feel about earning the incentive or not. Or, we didn't ask that. We just want to know how you grew. So it's interesting how you immediately volunteered. Well, I didn't earn it, but I'm still going to keep going. And I'm going to have to say that was one of the common takeaways that in our, in our little incentive group that we had, the uh, nine or ten of us that, uh, in our weekly chats. That was one thing that I heard over and over that I love hearing you say is that, wow, you know what, I, I, I may not know how to, or I may not have earned the incentive, but I know how to work my business a little bit more. It's not just about earning the incentive. Everything in the incentive is a business plan. It's not just an incentive or a trip tracker. It's a business tracker. And I love hearing you say, you've heard us say it before, but you never really felt it until now. 
And so I know one thing that was beneficial for all of us is to um, keep the cows and the conversations in real time. So there wasn't a curriculum. It wasn't an outline. We didn't say, okay, here's the incentive. Here's the points. This week is this, this week. And, and, and I mean, that's how Ken and I have always done our leadership groups, our incentive groups, our training, all of it. It's always been an outline because we've trying to create uh, consistent systems. But this one was a consistent system in real time, meaning all of us leaders would do our, all right, how did it go last week? What should we do this week? every week? we met and held each other accountable. And then every Sunday, we come out with a challenge that had something to do with what was going on in our business right then, not just because it was an outline or a book to follow, it was because what was happening, and thank goodness we did that, right? Because, oh yeah, there's this little pandemic that happened. So uh, kudos to all of you who showed up. And I promise you, the next incentive, the more you show up, the more you grow. And it's not because, your director or us are saying it because we felt it. The proof is in the numbers. I, I really, really challenge you to go look at your, your numbers. If you don't know how, ask. It's because that team uh, trend graph is the best. It's such a quick, quick reference. You don't have to know math. You just have to know how to look at the waves. It's so beneficial. So go back and look at it from six months ago. And Charlotte, you just joined. Check it out. What did it look like in August? What did it look like in September? What did it look like in October? Because our big thing in this group is always looking, all right, how did it go last month? What did it look like three months ago? What about YOI? We call it YOI, year over year. All of those are ways for us to grow. So no matter what, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a big hoo kudo because you made it. You showed up tonight, whether you felt like you earned the incentive or grew or learned or whatever, yay you. It's only going to make you that much better because we know without a doubt, all of you who put the time into showing up for any of this group, you're going to earn the incentive eventually one day. It's just a matter of time. So before we let you go, do you guys have any part, parting thoughts or comments or anything that, before we end? Did we forget anyone? Did we forget anything? I just have a comment to make, and that is my ears really heard a lot of progress tonight. Every single one of you had progress, which is you should be extremely proud. We just remember, we, we were forders. We forded a river or a lake or an ocean, you name it, that we've never forded before with this pandemic. We all had to do things differently to, to grow, and every one of us did that. So what an achievement that is be proud celebrate i urge you to celebrate in some way even if it's going dancing happy dancing tonight or whatever you can do celebrate because you're an achiever my little tidbit would be don't stop right december 31st came and everybody kind of i mean not everybody stopped but the intense is over so maybe you don't have that motivation but it's a new year, so keep on going and make this the best year ever. And another incentive's coming, so um, don't stop. Another incentive's coming, and we have the tools, so create your own incentive right now. Create your own motivation. What are you going to do for you? Anyone else? I just want to say thank you. I think um, having this group was huge, but I also think having the input from all the different leaders was huge. I think... Um, hearing how everyone does it a little bit differently and seeing how everyone did it, all the sharing that went on, it was just huge. It's um, more than we could ever ask for. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And you made it worthwhile because you showed up. Otherwise we were just talking to ourselves and we get to work with each other. We needed all of you. <laughs> I think I definitely echo what she just said in that thank you because it was, uh, the input was, priceless absolutely priceless and it's all things that can be done on a consistent basis day in and day out regardless of whether there's an incentive or not it's only going to make your business grow more so um i've loved being able to get to know um everyone in the group that's been you know consistent i know i've missed a few meetings um just because of family emergencies and things but um i feel like i've i have more uh, knowledge now that I can definitely do better and do more and give more and grow more in my business. So 
this group has been amazing. And so truly, truly, I, I thank everyone that has participated and given their ideas, no matter what level in the business they are, every idea was super helpful. Yay. All right, anyone else? So Charlotte, you didn't know this, but at the end of every call, we do the loudest shout out that we can possibly muster up to motivate ourselves to let's go. But you guys, for real, this is our last. <laughs> our first of the year, but our last of the incentive group, our very last let's go. And I'm going to make sure, just a minute, how do I unmute you? Oh, here we are. Oh, I you you have to unmute yourselves. Unmute. Oh, Brandy, are you at Target? <laughs> I just saw red. Oh, that's going to be fun. I can see you. M, you're not. Lori, you're not Mute, unmuted. Uh, I'm going to ask to unmute you because we're going to say it so loud. We want your family to go, what the, what the, what the, what? All right, ready? Okay, you're gonna hear me. Poor Ken always knows. Hey, Brandy, let's see if we, how many shoppers we get looking your way. One, two, three, let's, let's go! go. Oh, we can't wait to see your final post for the week, guys. Love you, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.